Hi, man, Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the Back Office Teardown Lab. I just wanted to show you this quick video on something I've been working on because it's kind of cool. And if you're a patron supporter, you want to jump onto there because I have a special a kind of offer, but more of a I need your help. Now, let me show you what I've done. I've made a whole load of these, and these are basically serving as input devices from any joystick. So imagine you've got any retro PC joystick, anything like that. You can convert them to a full fire-breathing uh, Windows compatible joystick. And when I say retro joystick, I mean anything. Old uh, digital pads, old analog flight sticks, because these have, if I'm not mistaken, yes, my memory's good, eight analog inputs, a full eight analog inputs and two digital inputs. So. Just to give you an idea of what that is like, that means one of these, that is two analog inputs because you've got two um, potentiometers on that one. So that's one, two, three, four. And then on this, you could have five, six, seven pots there, seven. Oh, I don't have an eighth pot, uh, but you can still use the analog input as a digital if you want. Um, but you've got 10 in total. So two, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, ten. So you could have all of those literally just on one controller without even doing any other tricks. And by gosh, there are tricks you can do to use more on this. I'm not going to go into that now, but the inputs can also be assigned as digital inputs. That means an analog input technically gives you, uh, to be fair of the hardware, 10 bits of resolution. Um, so you can imagine if you've got a resistor ladder, you can actually hook these up with just different resistors because they'll trigger different parts, different bits in that um, binary thing. And then all of these become active as well. So there's a lot of goodness there. Please, um, if you're a patron, so this is a big shout out to the patrons. Please have a go on because I've got some of these. Uh, I'm showing you five. I've got a few more than these. Anybody interested to be a beta tester and hook these up to their PC and emulate the virtual joystick, get on get onto Patreon and ping me. Um, DM me with your name and address and I'll endeavor to get you one. But please only ask for one if you're gonna use it because I really need the beta testing would be great and Global PMP does start to bite on these. But I would love you to try them and just think of all the amazing, interesting projects we could get up to. I'll just give you some ideas. Of course, you can take any standard joysticks you can find and convert those. You can actually buy the Xbox little thumb things. Those will work too. Um, you obviously can convert your old Thrust Master Hotas things because you want to play Elite Dangerous and you need some extra buttons. Or you've got some any old simulator. You've got a train simulator and you need a dead man switch and a throttle. Look, there's a good dead man switch. There you go. It's, well, you want a spring-loaded one, ideally, or a push button. Um, you can do that. If you've got OBS and you've got some software to convert a uh, key joystick to keyboard macros, you could put a whole load of these on, right? And you could have your audio mixer settings, make your own mixing desk. So that it basically, you know, you're limited by your imagination with this. And of course, you could take the old uh, joy pads and NES pads and things and try to convert those too. So that's that. Please jump on to, uh, again, Patreon and ping me about these and let's see if we can get you hooked up. I'd love to, I need that feedback. I said I'd love to hear it, but I need it. So if you want one, please try them out um, and we'll do that. There you go, that's all I've got. Any questions down below? Thanks guys, bye-bye.